Thank you to my beautiful friends at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video I hope you have been keeping so very well in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a week of vegan lunches and these lunches are some of them are small some of them are bigger some of them can also be enjoyed for breakfast and some of them can also be enjoyed for dinner regardless I hope you find something new that you want to try at home and as always all of the recipes for today's video will be in the description box below and I do want to say a really big thank you to my friends at Square Squarespace for sponsoring today's video because if you didn't know I use Squarespace to make my website as someone who had no experience with graphic design or building a website in any capacity I personally found Squarespace super easy to use and I also still find it really easy to use in terms of scheduling blog posts and scheduling new recipes that I'm gonna put up there's heaps of really great blogging features which make it really easy to be able to schedule and post all of the new things that you want to share with the world as some Someone who shares vegan recipes on the internet for a living which is completely crazy and wonderful in itself I always am really interested to see what recipes you are engaging with and Squarespace allows you to see all the analytics of your website which is really really cool because now I know most of you come to my website for the ice cacao recipe <laughs> but yeah especially for fellow bloggers and creatives and business owners i really recommend using squarespace because it honestly has everything you need and it just makes it super super easy to build your own website and market yourself um, and all of that beautiful stuff so if you would like to try out squarespace you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you are ready to launch you can head to squarespace.com slash amanda ducks for 10 percent off your first purchase of a website website or domain thank you again very much to my friends at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video now let's get into a week of vegan lunches so the first thing that we are making today is a crispy chickpea salad and I first of all started by cutting up some cherry tomatoes and some cucumber but you could use whatever veggies you like then in a frying pan I started with some olive oil and then I put some chickpeas as well as salt nutritional yeast and almond meal almond meal is my secret ingredient to making my chickpeas extra crispy from there, I then also made a tahini dressing, starting, of course, with some tahini. Then I added in olive oil as well as lemon juice, followed by maple syrup, some salt and some water. So you can make it as thin or as thick as you would like to. I like it to be kind of like this, maybe a little bit thinner. From there, I then put some spinach into a bowl followed by my cucumber and cherry tomatoes. And then I also added in some fresh parsley. I love having fresh herbs in my salads and I toss that all together before putting on my tahini dressing and massaging that tahini dressing through till it was nice and even, nice and coating all of my raw vegetables. From there, I then put the crispy chickpeas as well as some extra fresh parsley on top. And at this point, I noticed that Eva had been sleeping there for who knows how long, but she was looking cute doing it. So I think we can forgive her. Anyway, this salad is one of my absolute favorites because not only is it super delicious, but it is also really nourishing. So it leaves me feeling nice and full, but also very satisfied. <laughs> thing when I came up with the idea of sun-dried tomato bruschetta I didn't know how well it would go down but I love it and Cara my housemate loves it so hopefully you will love it too to make it it's actually super simple I just put some sun-dried tomatoes lemon juice minced garlic 
and basil into a bowl. And then I also added in a little bit of salt as well to taste. You could add pepper as well if you like. And I very simply just tossed this together and then I got a piece of crispy toast, put a little bit of olive oil on top and then topped it with my sun-dried tomato basil mixture. It is really that simple. This is a very small lunch. Obviously, you could definitely double it if you were feeling hungry, or you could have it like this for a snack as well, or for a bite of brekkie. <laughs> This is one of my favorite recipes from the whole entire week. I love it so very much and you can definitely get creative with it as well, which is what I really like. So I first of all started by boiling some cauliflower, sweet potato and broccoli in some boiling water, of course. And then whilst that was all boiling, I've used the word boiling so many times in this sentence already. Whilst that was boiling, I then got another saucepan and I started with some olive oil as well as soy milk. And then from there, I also added in a whole heap of nutritional yeast before adding in some rice flour as well as some corn flour and some salt. And then I whisked this all together so that it thickened, uh, as we can see on the screen here. This is the kind of consistency you like. It's like a creamy, cheesy sauce. It's really, really yummy and super simple to make. Then I poured all of my veggies into a baking dish, topped it with my creamy cheesy sauce. And then I also added on some nutritional yeast as well as some almond meal, uh, just to give it a little bit of crispiness. If you are not gluten-free, you can definitely add some breadcrumbs on top as well. And then I baked this in the oven. And as you can see, it turns out looking so ridiculously good <laughs> once you get it out. This made enough for two for me and Kara, and we were left feeling very very full so just keep that in mind if you do make this one at home but regardless I hope you enjoy it the thing it is mango season here in Australia and I cannot get enough of them in my sweet food but also in my savory food so today I decided to make some mango salsa tacos with some mangoes cherry tomatoes and spring onion and coriander which I mix in a bowl and then I decided to make chickpea scramble as my source of protein on the tacos so this was just with some chickpeas soy milk nutritional yeast and salt which I just mashed together as well as I could be bothered mashing it on this day. Then uh, I put this chickpea scramble with a little bit of oil into a frying pan and fried it up until it got a little bit crispy and all that moisture uh, was gone. Then I got two crispy tacos, put my mango salsa on top as well as my chickpea scramble and then I just topped it with a little bit of avocado followed by some coriander. This is a very very fresh lunch that's for sure uh, but with mango salsa don't knock it until you've tried it. Lately, I've been really trying to step out of my comfort zone and try new things when I am cooking, and that definitely goes for this meal. I started with some sesame oil, garlic, minced garlic, and some chili flakes into a frying pan, and then I added in some maple syrup as well as dark soy sauce. From there, I also added in some black pepper as well as pink salt. And then I added in some veggie stock, veggie broth, whatever you would like to call it. Then I allowed that to heat. I wanted it to get to a nice simmering point, I suppose is what you call it. And then I chopped up some veggies. So I decided to have some broccoli and some carrot. You could do whatever veggies you would like to. And then I put these into my simmering sauce broth. Thing. and I allowed them to cook for about five to ten minutes until they were nice and soft pretty much depending on what veggies you use then I added in some thin Hokkien noodles and I want these noodles to absorb as much of this sauce as possible so I'm moving them around like so and then I added in a corn flour mixture which is just some corn flour and water and I mix that together to make this sauce get nice and thick because that is exactly what we want from there, I then put some fresh basil on top of mine, as well as a whole heap 
of shallots. Love them so much. Then I also put some sprouts on top of mine. And yeah, this is what I decided to have for lunch this day. I really, really enjoyed it. Definitely going to make sure that I step out of my comfort zone more often. <laughs> Avocado and pea smash has become a regular in my diet and I love it so very much because it's super easy, filling, fresh, mm, all the good things. So in this, I just started with some avocado as well as some peas, of course, and then I added in lemon juice as well as pepper and salt. Then I also added in some fresh herbs. You could add whatever herbs you vibe. I put in some parsley, dill, and some chives, and then I mashed this all together until uh, it was at a nice creamy point. Then I cut a piece of this thick, beautiful uh, sun-dried tomato and basil gluten-free bread, which I love so very much. And on top, I put my avocado and pea smash. Once again, if you're hungry, you could definitely double this or have two pieces of toast. And I like to put some fresh chives on top just for some extra freshness, extra crunch. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> last lunch is a very very simple sesame tempeh so I first of all started by cutting up 100 grams of tempeh and putting it into a bowl with some sesame oil and then I also added in some sesame seeds nutritional yeast and some salt it is that simple <laughs> so I just mixed this all together with my hands put it onto a baking tray and then baked them in the oven till they were nice and crispy you could serve this with many different things I decided to serve it just with some brown rice as well as some steamed broccolini and steamed beans and then I have my crispy tempeh to go with it a very simple but nourishing and delicious lunch alrighty my beautiful friends so that was a week of vegan lunches I really hope you enjoyed today's video once again a big thank you to my friends at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video if you are keen to try out Squarespace there's a link in my description box for you to use as always a big thank you for being here and for supporting my YouTube channel if you are new to my channel and you're keen to see more vegan recipe videos uh, I will leave some on the screen that I think that you will really really love and yeah I hope you have a really beautiful day thank you for being here and supporting me and I will see you very soon for another video have a beautiful day <gasps> bye